Alright, I like the title suggest. In today's video, I'm going to be building a gaming computer. We're going to be building inside the Crew MG120-GK computer case here. Time lapse of the build together for you. Then I'll be back at the end with the conclusion to the video and tell you what I think about building this case. This ain't going to be a how-to video. If you need a how-to build a gaming computer, I will put a link up here for that one for you. And we'll take you through the building process step by step. Alright. For the CPU, I went with the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. For the motherboard, we have the Azeroc B450M Pro 4 motherboard. For RAM, we have G-Skills Ripjaws 5 Series 16 gig, 2 8 gig sticks running at 3600 MHz speeds. To keep the system cool, we have Deep Cool RF 120s. These are three three 120 millimeter RGB and PMW controlled pans. To keep that CPU in check, we have the Be Quiet Pure Loop 240 millimeter all-in-one water cooling system. For the storage in this system, we have the Silicon Power 512 gigabytes NVMe M.2 Gen 3 SSD for the storage. The graphical power is provided by Gigabyte Radeon RX 5600 XT Windforce OC card. To power everything in the system, we have the EVGA 500BR100. That is an 80 plus bronze certified non-modular power supply. And of course, it all, it's all going to be built inside the Cougar MG120G case.
I went down through the ports that I put in this case. I showed you the time lapse of me building this case. I think this. I think Google did a pretty good job with this case. For a $40 price point, you have the tempered glass side panel. You have the full shroud basement. You have the decent little PSU dust filter. You got the magnetic dust filter on top. I think they did a pretty good thing. I think they did a pretty good job on this case for $40. There's a few things about this case that kind of concerns me. Number one is that front panel, and with no more than just a couple of little spots for airflow to come into, it kind of concerns me a little bit on that. The back of the computer case, we put the I.O. shield in and the GPU in. That is pretty flimsy metal. Of course, you can expect that on a $40 case, but it is pretty flimsy, and it, you have to really fight with that I.O. shield more than what you should have to if you spend a little bit more money on a case. And that fan that they include in it, it's nice that they include a fan in this case. But I don't think it's going to be enough for the airflow because there ain't a whole lot of room in the front panel for the airflow to come through. That's because of this is why I went with the three 120 fans in this. I put two in the front and one in the back. That way I could try to get as much airflow as I could through the, through the system. But for the $40 case, I think this would be a nice little case if you're into flipping. I think it looks pretty good. Even with the, you know, it is kind of dark, you know, even with that front plexiglass and the Temple glass side panel on the on the side, you know they're all fairly dark, but I think it's still I think it's a pretty nice looking case. It's a pretty moderate looking case, and for forty dollars, I don't think you can go wrong with this case. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you go down and give me a like. If not, there's that dislike button. There's also a comment section below. I go through them every weekend here on Saturday morning, eleven o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. And if you really like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're notified next time I put out a video or go live here on YouTube. And also, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I don't kill your inbox, but I do put up photos of new stuff I have coming in to kind of give you an idea of what's coming up on the channel. And if there's any information about my live stream, if i got to change the time of it or change the date, if i got to cancel it or whatever, that's where you get that information as well. But with all that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.